Have you ever wondered what happens to your recyclables after you place your blue bin by the curb? Where does it end up? Are they really recycled? Am I making a difference? Well, let's dig into Garland's recycling program to get those answers and more. Your recyclables are taken here to the FCC Materials Recovery Facility in Dallas, where it's sifted, sorted, and stuffed, ready for transport to companies that salvage the material to make new products. We're going to ship bales of cardboard to a mill that's going to make it into new cardboard. The steel gets melted down to make new pots and pans. And the aluminum cans are pretty much all made into new aluminum cans. On average, Garland residents recycle more than a thousand tons every month. How much is that? Well, picture this. The average weight of adult elephants is about five tons. If you do the math, over the course of just one year, you recycle the weight of more than 2,400 elephants. To top it off, almost all of the stuff you're putting into the blue bin is being recycled. That's really good. You know, so we're capturing over 96% of the inbound and we're making very high quality uh, that the mills we sell to really like. But before it's salvaged, everything first has to be sorted. Before it's all separated, it looks like it's hopelessly mixed together, but uh, each machine takes a cut of the material. We take out the cardboard first, then we take out the glass, and then on and on. And then the people we have up there on the line working, uh, they're there to clean and polish. If there's a piece of trash that's in it, they'll take it out and throw it away. You know, by the time you get to the end of the line, all that's left really is um, non-recyclables, and whatever's left goes to a compactor and goes to the landfill. Is it possible that some of what you put in your blue bin also ends up in the landfill? Yes, but not the recyclables, rather items that don't belong in there to begin with. Those items must be taken to the landfill, which then increases our costs. The good recyclables that are being put in, you know, the, into the bins that are coming here are getting recycled. That's how we make our money, by getting it separated and selling those materials. Things that can contaminate recyclables include regular household trash, tires, yard waste, garden hoses, and car batteries, to name a few. Medical waste, dead animals, all kinds of crazy things small real Christmas trees or their, their old artificial tree they don't want anymore, plastic grocery store bags. What people tend to do is called wish cycling. People don't know if it's recyclable, they hope it is, and they put it in. So that's where we tend to get in trouble. So how do you know what's recyclable and what's trash? Well, all you got to do is ask the Garland Waste Wizard. It's real easy. Just type in the item you want to dispose of and the waste wizard will tell you whether or not it's recyclable or if it needs to go into the trash. For example, type in glass bottles and you'll be told to rinse them and place them in your blue cart at the curb. Or type in plastic grocery bags and you'll be instructed to take them back to the store where you made your purchase. The education efforts are certainly paying off. The Garland uh, residents are getting uh, way more serious about doing it the right way. It makes a difference. It's, it's good for the environment. It's, like, it's good for business. It's good all around. If I do it and you do it and they do it, it makes a difference. For more information about recycling, tips, the waste wizard, and much more, visit garlandsanitation.com. <laughs>